Hi there, my name is Megan and I'm a garden interpreter here at RBG. So today I'd like to bring you along with me to Hendry Park where you can find the Helen M. Kippax Garden. This garden is a great place to find some shade and go on an adventure. This garden was named after one of the founding members of the Canadian Society of Landscape Architects. It features a cultivated garden that has native plants to showcase and sustain the beautiful wildlife around us here at RBG. It's a great place to come to keep your eyes and ears open and explore the outdoors, so follow me. Along the path into this garden, you will find many perennials like milkweed and echinacea, supporting pollinators. This garden is a monarch way station, making it a destination for monarch butterflies. Here they can find food for both the adult butterflies and their caterpillars. Did you know that bees are not the only pollinators? Butterflies, moths, flies, beetles, and even birds all help move pollen between flowers. So let's take a look and I'll see if I can surprise you with any cool pollinators. Now just behind me here in the Kipax garden, you can see sumac trees. So these are a great option to support birds because they have lots and lots of seeds. I also think they have a beautiful flower and a fun pop of color to bring to your garden. So why should you add native plants to your garden at home? Well, these plants have adapted and evolved at the same time as pollinators and animals in the gardens. So they're a great option to have to support wildlife and your local ecosystem. And they'll also be bringing healthy soil, water and air to our environment. Now, if you're coming to the garden to look for wildlife, you should absolutely stop by the pond here in Kipax Garden. So this is a great spot to look for fish and frogs like green frogs or leopard frogs. And you'll also see tons of dragonflies flying around. So there are lots of gorgeous lily pads and cattails back here. And it's a fantastic example of a little marsh ecosystem and how those great native plants are bringing in wildlife to the gardens. Thanks for visiting the Helen M. Kipax Garden with me. I hope you saw something cool and I hope it inspired you to plant something to support wildlife in your own garden at home. I'm headed over to the Rose Garden to keep exploring and I encourage you to stay curious while you're out in the gardens at RBG because there's always something exciting to see.